out, right? And I said, you know what? You want to start this rebuild? You want to jumpstart this thing? In addition to Verlander and JD and, you know, Justin Wilson, all these guys, Michael Fulmer is your trade piece. That's the guy that's going to get you a haul in return that could possibly get you a star in everyday positional player that you are going to need down the line. And according to FedEx article, there were a couple of players that were out there for the taking at the trade deadline. Well, Alex, Alex, no Bre talk. Alex Bregman is the one that just, I mean, and look, I expect that. Of course. But the fact that it was him, this is true, scouts and executives telling Anthony Fennick that the Tigers had an opportunity to trade Michael Fulmer, Justin Wilson, or Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman is a great freaking player. That, that's just, that's just one of the ones. Uh, the other one was for, for Baez for Well, look, it, and if that's true, he just repeated the same mistake potentially that he made with Michael Fulmer in doing what he did with Matt Boyd because Matthew Boyd could have potentially been to a lesser degree. Yeah. He's not Michael Fulmer. He wasn't as dominant as Fulmer at that time. But Boyd also didn't have the injury concerns that Fulmer did. No. He just made the same decision to not take your best asset in Matthew Boyd and package him with a Shane Green to somehow entice a team to give you a little bit more. And that's your job as a general manager. If there isn't a market, you've got to create a market. Going out in the offseason well, during the winter caravan and saying, well, nobody's calling about Nicholas Castellanos. How does that help you and your franchise? It doesn't. No, that, that I, I agree that stuff has ended up being stupid to say. Just keep it close to the vest. And then, you know, the fact that you know, idiots like us in the radio say, oh, they don't say anything anyway. That, that's irrelevant, okay? Then this year, I honestly believe, even if they would have packaged Boyd and Reed and Castellanos together, they still wouldn't have got anything You're not getting the buy -ins. You're not getting You're the buy -ins with those right. guys. And, 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 and you look at the Dodgers, these teams, look look at what Houston did not give up in the, in the Gretzky yeah. deal. So, I mean, for this she year, also has an outrageous contract that they're going right. to have to pay down. They ended up having to pay some money for it as well. I, I just, but for, the, for this year, this deadline, I don't think he did that horrible of a job. Okay. Because I, I, I think it was fine. I wish this article would have came out before we had him on this week. Uh, so I'm sure he has to either verify or debunk the story, whether that's today or tomorrow, because he can't go on and say, yeah, oh, oh it's true. You know, well, yeah, but what, what is he going to be able to say? I don't know. I mean, he can't come out and say, oh, no, you know, none of it's true, blah, blah, blah. Those teams weren't in there. You guys don't know all the facts. Why? What, what are these front office executives right. trying to tear Al Avila down? No. For what reason? No. Yeah, people like that. But it's just, it's another example, though. Like, the Astros are 20 years ahead of all these other baseball teams, and, you know, from an analytics standpoint, and their scouting departments and all that. And every other team's trying to play catch-up ball, and the Tigers are so far behind. And the Tigers aren't thinking about three years from now, four years from now, five years from now, like they could have been thinking when they could have traded away Michael Palmer a couple years ago. They're thinking about the here and now. Well, he's a solid pitcher. Maybe you could build around him. This is not important. Losing 120 games this year and next year and the year after that is not important. So what are we doing? But to go back there, and I was kind of on the Palmer thing, I, I felt if you could have gotten somebody you knew was going to be great, and I, now these names never came up. I mean, people said maybe Libra Torres, but who knows if that was even Fulmer was the guy that you wanted to build around because he was he was young. He was no, but you weren't building at that point. You yeah, had to I know. Do the tearing down. No, 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 no. Here's the, the problem is in 2015 they sold him, right, and then they went and signed Zimmerman and uh, Upton, and so they thought they could compete, and they took it all the way down to the last weekend, and it screwed them because they held on to Fulmer when they should have traded him at the winter meetings that after 2016. That would have been sell time, but they thought they were still good because they got it was fool's gold, and then they ended up falling apart in 2017. But even if you wait, out. even if you wait, I mean, he was at the peak of, of his the dominance. Hall, I mean, he was hall unbelievable. For, the, the hall for Fulmer would have been 2016 winter meetings. Go to the Yankees, who needed pitching at the time, Torres and other prospects, and I guarantee you would have got. Them. See, I I think the trade deadline is more where you get the bigger hall, but. That's some answer. Right, 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 yes. Miggy for Miller and Maven at the winter meetings. Yeah, I, sure. I, I just, to me, I, I personally think the trade deadline is more desperate times call for desperate again, measures. Again, you know? it, it, I, I'll be a broken record on this. It all started when they didn't pay Max Scherz. It that threw everything off course. And, yeah. then they, and then they thought they could go get, they went back and spent when they.
they shouldn't have stuck. They never, ever should have done that. The rebuild should have been on once Dombrowski was let go. 2015, they did the sell-off. Right. And he got fired. That's when it, they should have, should have committed to it then. They should have started selling assets probably in 20, the 2015 winter meetings. They, they, they probably should have shot maybe Verlander then. And, then. and the other thing is they kept somebody around a little too long as well. Victor Martinez. And, and I'll tell you who that is. and my good friend, Dr. B. He is here to help you. When it comes to fighting hair loss, you need an expert, not just some mystery pills you see on Instagram. You need to see someone who has been helping men regain their hair and confidence for years. Dr. Berkowitz has a track record unlike any other. He literally wrote the book on hair restoration and he wants to share it with you. Call this number today, 844-1-HAIR, and you'll get a free copy of No Hair, K-N-O-W Hair. Dr. B's complete guide to hair restoration and neograft transplant. You'll learn all about his technique and how he gets amazing results with precision and skill you're not going to find anywhere else. There's no stitches, no staples, no linear scar, uh, and the transplanted hair is genetically programmed to grow. Guys, this is the guy who literally wrote the book. Now get your free copy of No Hair, 8441 Hair by Dr. B, and set up your consultation. Get your hair back, get your confidence back. One call to Dr. Berkowitz of Michigan Hair Restoration. It can quite simply change your life. Call Michigan's number one hair restoration specialist at 844-WANT-HAIR or visit drb4hair.com. That's drb4hair.com. This CBS Sports Minute is brought to you by North Bloomfield Properties. with the CBS Sports Minute sponsored by Hilton.com. Expect better, expect Hilton. Bill Belichick tallying the most shout-outs at Saturday night's Hall of Fame ceremonies, folks. As expected, former Patriots quarterback Ty Law praised his mentor, Coach Bill Belichick. Thank you for believing in me, Law said. Thank you for not trying to change who I was. It's no coincidence that you are the greatest coach this game has ever seen. I love you, Bill. Opponent Kevin Mawai surprised with this tribute. Coach Bill Belichick, I never felt more challenged mentally in a game than when I faced you teams i came to love the puzzle of figuring out your defense he added still hate the patriots but thank you for making me a better player then there was ed reed wanting to thank brian billick he inadvertently said coach belichick instead the hoodie is always on everyone's mind congratulations to all on boomer size
child's life. 97.1 The Ticket Student Heart Check can help. Make the time to have your child checked. Contact the Ernst Cardiovascular Center at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. Learn more at 971theticket.com. by the Michigan Lottery. There's a new crash reported along 75 northbound just before 12 Mile Road. Also, you'll find traffic volumes are starting to build 75 southbound between Walton Boulevard and M59 and on 696 westbound right around Mound. New Fast Pack from the Michigan Lottery is jam-packed with fun. All this month, buy a $20 Fast Cash game and get a four-draw Club Kino ticket free so you could win the Fast Cash jackpot plus 250 grand plus four free chances to win Club Kino. That's Fast Pack. I'm Michelle Pena on the WWJ 24-Hour Traffic Center. If you can't say it loud and proud, at least say it loud. The 2-0 Street Line Drive. Fair ball into the right field corner. That's going to clear the bases.